So welcome back to another FIFA update video. Today we are talking about title update number 17. Yes, number 17. We're so close to number 20. Can we get there? I don't know. It's all up to EA. We've got a few more months to go. The funny thing is that they haven't actually patched everything in this game that's broken. That, that's the incredible part. 17 patches later and we've still got stuff that needs addressing. But they fixed one major thing here that I want to talk about. Now the FIFA 21 reveal is on June the 11th and we're going to be covering everything you need to know on the channel here so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do so you don't miss anything. And if you want to buy some of the best Real Life Ultimate Team cards you can customize these however you want. You can get them as a gift or for yourself. Make sure you check out the link in the description and use my code VAPEX for 10% off. Now on the EA forums we have title update number 17 right here. EA Roger says hey FIFA fans the latest title update for FIFA 20 is now available on PC and includes the change below. Now, in terms of the release date of this update on consoles, sometimes it comes out the day after the PC, sometimes it comes out a week after, so you just have to keep checking every day to see something, and uh, I don't really know, I can't give you a day or time, so just keep that in mind. Now, in terms of size, this update is not going to be a big one, it was 835 megabytes on the PC, I don't know if it's going to be more or less on the Xbox or PS4, but it should be around that 1 gigabyte range. The last few updates were like 4 or 5 gigabytes, so I don't know if it's going to be like that, but I presume it is going to be pretty small. Now, I have some good news for those people that are like JPOW, and they are wondering about this La Liga broadcast presentation. JPOW says, I hope EA doesn't leave FIFA 20 broken like the telecast display in La Liga, they need to update it one more time to fix this and uh, yeah like I said good news they did actually update this thing and they've patched the La Liga issue. In the official patch notes it says address the following issue sometimes a blank La Liga Santander broadcast package remained on the screen until the title was closed so it's basically that freeze that comes up on your screen when you're playing a La Liga match and it's because of the broadcast presentation or something something goes wrong anyway but this has been an issue for a couple of months so they took their time with this but at least now, if you're going to play a La Liga career mode or something, this should be fixed and it's not going to annoy you. Now that is of course on paper, I could get messages once the update comes out saying that it didn't fix anything, but on paper, they have fixed it. Now there was also a few extra things that EA did not tell us about, but Blade Johnson did. If you want to follow him on Twitter, he does post new graphics that get added into each title update that EA doesn't talk about. So the first one is a new face. Well, it's not really new, it's from older FIFA games, but it's new to FIFA 20 and it's for 10 long. In this game, apparently he's playing for the China national team, but in FIFA 19, he was playing for a Super League club in China, and he had a real face back then as well. So this one has been added into the game. We've also got three new balls added into Ultimate Team. Now, I don't know what they look like because I don't think they've been released yet, but in the code of the game, there's like a wood-themed ball, there's like a painting-themed ball, and there's also a pointer-watch-themed ball. Those are not official names, but it sort of describes what the balls are about. And then we've got new boots, one Nike Phantom Venom Elite FG, white, black, chili red. And then we've got Nike Phantom VSN2 Future DNA Hyper Venoms. Now, I think Hyper Venoms came out a couple years ago, but they're re-releasing them. And then we've got three new kits for Ultimate Team as well. We've got Foot Artist number 8, which is Bob Marley's 75th birthday theme. Foot Other 4, which is a Foot 2020 themed or something. And then we've got Foot Other 07 Conma Ball Sud Americana theme. So those are just a few kits added into the game to Ultimate Team. Now, Blade Johnson has provided some photos for some of the graphics that got added, so let's take a quick look. Those are the Hyper Venoms that got added in. That is the Bob Marley foot kit. Another Bob Marley foot kit there. This one could be the Foot 2020 kit, and then there's also the Goalkeeper kit for that, and then there's also another foot kit here, and another one there. And then they've also got the other Nike boots that got added in, so I don't know how you unlock these in the game early, but Blade Johnson did, and uh, you can if you know what you're doing. And that is pretty much title update number 17, done and dusted. You could tell that EA is really not focusing much on FIFA 20 anymore. It's all going to be about FIFA 21's development now. We've reached that part of the cycle. But if anyone at EA does watch this, I mean, we've got plenty more patches that you can still release based on little tweaks and stuff. There's a few more broken things. Some have been in the game since day one, and we're going to talk about a few of them just quickly, just in case. So we've still got issues coming from that undefined glitch that happened a few weeks ago or months ago now. In the Premier League broadcast, some names are missing when they win like the hat-trick ball. There's also the one in the Europa League where the name still comes up as undefined rather than the actual player's name. Then you've also got this glitch which happens since release day and they have not patched it. I don't know how, probably they can't even fix it, but it's basically when you come out of like the squad hub or something or the transfer hub and then the actual model of the player you were looking at appears in the background of the menu and gets stuck there. And that actually transfers over to the field when you go into play a game because the guy gets stuck on the field as well and he's basically near the halfway line. And I'm sure you guys know about this by now because it's been happening for so long. 
but if you take a look at the arrow, keep an eye on that guy. Everyone else moves in the play, but that guy doesn't. That is because he was stuck on the menu, and somehow he has made his way into the field, and he's actually stuck on the field as well, which is something they should have fixed months and months ago. And there's a certain glitch around Iniesta in the game. I don't know how this happens, but apparently he turns into a ghost. This is like the third time I've seen this now. And it doesn't look like it's an online match. It looks like it's just a normal game in career mode or something. And as you can see, the player bar says Iniesta. But all you see is the triangle on top of the head. The ball is there, but the player model has disappeared. So he actually turns into Casper the Ghost. There's also a few other broken things, but I really don't want to get into it. I just feel like a broken record at the moment. So we'll leave it at that. That is title update number 17, done and dusted. If you did enjoy, leave a like. And if you want to check out this Fever 20 video, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. And I'll see you next time.